Hello, my friends. What is up? I wanted to do some nail art on my natural nails today. I cut them down nice and short. And I, this is the stuff I think I'm going to be using. I want to do a pomegranate manicure. I'm using Moira Stamping Plate 112 Jungle Boogie. And Miniology 319. So I've got some liquid latex here, some sticky base coat, and my smudge free top coat. I've got um, the colors that I think I'm going to use for my reverse stamping. Uh, I've got my outline here, which is delirium. And I think I'm going to go with these colors, but we'll, we'll see. And then I just have it in my head to do a smush. I don't know. I just really feel like doing a smush. So I picked out these colors. I was originally going to just use my one of my favorites here, Caribbean Cool. But I think it, this is going to dry a little faster. And then I thought it would, might be interesting to kind of demonstrate how this plate works. So the first thing I'm going to do is put some liquid latex on my on my skin here. I'm just taking a little bit of alcohol, isopropyl alcohol, and wiping off my nails here just to get some of that oil off because I put some jojoba oil on my hands before I started and it's been soaking for about 15-20 minutes. So I'm going to get some of that on or off of there. And this is a liquid latex that I got from Walmart. It is the Puin brand. This is my favorite brand, brand of liquid latex. I th it doesn't dry out the way that um, the other ones that I've tried have dried out. because uh, this bottle is pretty old. I've had it for a couple of years now and I don't use it a whole lot, but I think it's impressive that it's kind of just seems good as new. And it was very affordable. I think it was only about $6. Might be more like eight now. So I'm gonna try to get all of the skin area as much as I can without getting it on the nail. And again, I have really super ridgy nails, so I kind of want to get it down like under the cuticle there. And you can probably tell, but it's raining pretty hard. Uh, Sam is up here with me preening on his little play stand. So we've got quite a lot of ambiance going on. Okay, I'm going to do my thumb last because I just think I'm going to bump it or something. So um, I'll do that next. And then when it's wet on this particular one, it's kind of like this Pepto-Bismol colored pink. And then when it dries, it kind of is a little more of a like reddish. And you'll be able to just tell... So I'll wait for that for a minute. Okay, so it's just about dry. I've got a couple little spots there, but this one's dry and I'm just gonna go down the line like this. These are still really sticky, so make sure you don't put your t fingers together or a little stick and take off the latex. Okay, yeah, so I've got Doll Dance here. This is Splash, and this is Vaporwave. And like I said, I kind of wanted to do like a smush, so I'm kinda, I'm just randomly gonna drop these on here and blend it just a little bit pick that up so 
So I can go over that a second time if I want to make it a little stronger. I may or may not do that. I, I'm going to use this as a background. So a lot of it's going to get covered up regardless. But let me just see how it goes here. I'm picking these really cool colors as a background because I know that my pomegranates are going to be sort of like a bold red-ish color. Oops, not quite. Okay, I'm going to have to go over it again because I missed the spot here. Uh, right, so I want to add more contrast between, oh my gosh, between um, the background and the foreground just to make it pop a little bit. So I don't want this to be like too obnoxious. So I'm going to keep it sort of cool and soft. It's a little better. And I can definitely play with these to make it more or less, you know, the turquoise versus the uh, doll dance light blue. Do this one again. So yeah, you can see I've got like super ridgy nails and so it doesn't always get kind of like on that side part there but I think that's okay. I might go over it one more time. I wanted to have a more random looking background, uh, but if you wanted to do an ombre, this is a super awesome plate for that. All you would do is just put your colors in a row and then you would scrape it multiple times to kind of blend. But that, oops, see, I made a mistake here. Okay, this is one thing about these kind of plates that um, I'll show you a couple, a couple little tips to prevent this from happening. Let me clean this off. I'll get a fresh start on here. Okay. Um, all right. A couple of things I'm going to want to do is make sure I've got enough polish. That was what I did last time. I just didn't put enough polish on it. You want to going to have to, you're going to want to fill this whole void, this whole etching. And then, uh, if I scrape this way, it's, there's a chance that my scraper edge is going to make contact with the bottom of the plate. And so it's a little safer to scrape it, um, along the kind of thinner edge of it. I hope that makes sense, but I think you can see what I mean. Okay, bye! It's kind of subtle, the smash. I'll add a little more of the other color. I'm leaning really heavy on the Vaporwave. Okay. Um, all right, 
it's time for my thumb. I'm just gonna do it um, without the, the latex for my thumb. is running low. I think I have a backup though. Okay. Because I put some oil on my skin earlier, it's sort of less likely to to stick on my skin and kind of the oil sort of deflects it so it's less messy than it could be if I hadn't done that. All right, done with that. Ah. I could take this off, but I'm gonna just leave it because I still might get the reverse stamping over onto the cuticle and I might as well just, might as well just leave it on there. I think that's gonna look okay. It's a little dark. Oh my. Yeah, I think it's gonna look pretty. I think I'm gonna choose, just because this is a little darker than I had intended, in my head, I guess I imagined it being a little lighter. And this is also pretty dark, and so I think it's just gonna get kinda lost. So I'm gonna pick something a, a bit lighter than this. This is kind of a nice color combo. Let me see if I got something else. I'm thinking this, and I also um, feel like I'm going to regret if I don't put some glitter on here. I've been using this one a lot. It's a Sally Hansen Snow Globe. I just think it's super, super pretty. And it shows up okay on camera, so if I'm taking pics, this one's kind of safer bet than... Uh, there's this other one that I use that's like a really fine glitter and it looks amazing in person, but on camera it just looks dirty. It just makes the entire manicure look super smudged and dirty. So, that's a bummer. But I just want to add a little bit of something on here. Okay. I also had picked out this darker green, which I still kind of like. I think I'll still use that. I might pick a lighter one. Maybe, maybe this. So this is called Wet n Wild Be More Pacific and this is the Sinful Colors Essentials uh, Matcha. And this was Toko Toucan. And I don't know if I'm gonna use this one. This is Sally Hansen Rockin' Hard.
the other thing I wanted to do was paint the flowers. I, th I wanted to paint them a really kind of light white color. This, I don't know where I got this. This is called Believe Beauty on the Cusp. It's sort of like a mm, creamy looking, glittery. Oh my gosh, I love the rain. It was, again, it was supposed to snow, but the rain took over, which is okay. I really like the rain a lot. It's so soothing and, I don't know, it's just like a relief every time it rains. I lived in Texas for like eight years, central Texas, and it doesn't rain that much. And it always really stressed me out because I'm I'm originally from Florida and it you know rains there quite a lot. And then I moved up to where I am now, and it's supposed to rain here a lot historically, but you know how things are going. So it's been raining a little bit less. But this is crazy. I just got a flood flood alert on my phone here. And my husband is a first responder, so he went out to uh, a different county and he is helping out people that have been stranded uh, by the flood water, or I think they did a vehicle rescue, um, car accidents, yeah, just a bunch of like flood and rain related um, things going on. He left this morning, probably at like 3.30 to go over there. It's about an hour away. He does a search and rescue, first responder. He's not an EMT or anything like that. But uh, he does like or the organization and like the tech side and um, we'll also do like carry outs and stuff so it's pretty intense I am not that selfless like not even close <laughs> like it's crazy to me that there's people out there that will wake up in the middle of the night, figure out that the weather is horrible, and then jump in their car and drive an hour away to see if maybe someone needs help. When I wake up and hear this kind of weather, I just want to go back to bed or do nails. Oh yeah, that's looking so cute. All right, I alternated the color of the leaves just to kind of like give it a little more realism because you know, leaves aren't always the same color. I do think the pomegranate should also be two different colors. These are kind of not matching in my, I don't know, they're not, they're not quite jiving. I've also got, it's pretty similar. I don't know if that's gonna look different. Well, all right, I'll, I'll try this, why not? I guess my goal isn't really realism here. It's more making the colors look kind of cohesive and I kind of wanted to make like a vintage -y palette.
rather than try to do the outline here, I'm going to put the seed part first and that way I don't have to be careful doing the outline. It's much easier to fill in this. And I guess these are supposed to be the seeds too. I'm gonna do like part of it, one color, and then I'll fill in the rest of it with the other color. I don't know, just maybe look a little more interesting that way. Did I mention what this was? This is a sun blaze. Maybe a little more subtle than I want. Mm. It's not too bad. Um, I am going to bring back my little friend here. It's sunset Blaze. This is Sun Blaze and this is Sunset Blaze. So. Alright, that makes sense. This is pretty dry. I'm going to use a sticky base coat. And again, I want to make sure I get every little part so it'll stick on the sides there. You know, I got problems with that. I'm going to let that do its thing for a minute. By the time I've done that, this is probably ready. Well, let me make sure this guy is ready. Little boy, what is going on here? I don't even know where that came from. Yes. I'm gonna take my little sharp kind of tool here and I'm gonna pull away the excess uh, decal stamp, whatever you wanna call it. And I'm gonna pull it away from my nail as well. Just really carefully, I don't want to tear it. I 
And I also wanna avoid having this kind of like snap back onto the decal. Okay. Oh, how cute. I'm still gonna need to clean this up a little bit. Cute. Alright, let's do it again. I will start with my flowers again. I, I'm going to try to make this fit on two different nails. I think I can do it. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. Alright, I will try. That looks like all the flowers. Continuing on with the leaves. I'm randomly picking which ones to color. Doesn't matter. Since I'm trying to fill, or since I'm trying to use this whole thing, I'm gonna try to, well, I'm not gonna try, I am going to fill in all of this.
Oops, forgot the flame in there. I'm kind of thinking I should have used this anyway for the, what I'm going to do is use it for the inside, like the little arrows, little kind of juicy parts. I don't think it's going to look too different between the two nails. This will make me happier. Give a couple dots in there. I hope you're enjoying the rain. I think I'm almost done. Just need to color in some more of those little uh, arrows. All right, that looks like everything. Oh, it's so pretty. Okay, yeah, my hope is that I can, because my nails are kind of short right now, which is sort of nice. I'm going to use my smudge free top coat. Cute. There's also another little pomegranate image on here. It's like a juice. Pomegranate juice. And there's also these pomegranates here. So I'm gonna do an accent with that. Put this out of the way. And I think I like this one. put it like that. It's 
sticky base. Put the accent on the middle actually just to kind of like put a little more separation between these these ones where i did a really slightly different color I'll finish up these leaves real quick and then by the time I'm done that, that decal and my sticky base should be dry enough to stick that on there. And then by the time I'm done with that, this should be dry enough for me to stick it on the other nail. sticky base I just want to see what this looks like all right let me let's hope this works I hate to waste this entire decal I'm gonna go as far on the edge as I can good and um oh that's cute like that oh yeah it's so nice I even have a little bit extra here oops I forgot to put sticky base though maybe I can force it. Oh, maybe. Nail stamping the brute force way. Yeah, that's cute though. Get a little accent on there. does not look quite dry. Let me work on this. Take off this latex.
find it easier instead of like cutting to just sort of like press and pull. This look ready. It might have been good to put some latex under my finger here, too. And get some fresh acetone. Looking kind of dirty. I don't want to flood the cuticle too much. Maybe a little. Oh, I've still got some latex here. There we go. Oh yeah, can't forget this. I believe that's it. I usually like to wear the glossy on my own hands, but this might look better matte. I'm not like as big a fan as the texture of the matte, but it lasts forever. So that's one benefit of it. Uh, besides that, it just kind of makes it look, uh, makes it look like paper or something. It's cool. So I don't know, I'll probably matte coat this. I think that's it. I'm not sure how else I can change or improve on this. I think it came out pretty close to what I was looking for. I really was looking for more of a smush and I should have added a little more white or possibly incorporated this instead of splash. That probably would have looked nice. Uh, but this is still like kind of a fun look and I'm happy with it. And uh, I got to hang out and do my nails in the rain, which is really just um, just the best way I could have spent today. So anyway, thanks for joining me again. Um, if you have anything you want me to talk about next, let me know. Drop it in the comments. Until next time, bye!